Hey guys, just a short tutorial here with some uh, cool features that Blizzard added in patch 1.4 of StarCraft 2. Um, as you can see in the data editor, it's just going to be a data editor tutorial. Um, they added a new thing which is XML view and um, I'm going to show that in a sec here. So what that allows us to do is edit the raw data of, um, of all the stuff in the data editor and it can actually save you a lot of time. And I'm going to give you an example of how it's useful and um, I'm just going to make a new map and even the map editor is a bit faster now since they uh, since they did the update everything just seems a lot faster and the data editor has been a bit reorganized but um, let's say you're making a bunch of items for an RPG and you want an armor plus one buff, an armor plus two buff, an armor plus three buff that you can give to your items to stack them to um, to do the like say you have a 15 armor helmet um, you want to use like reuse some of your buffs so you maybe use like five plus three armor buffs or something like that um, etc so that could be a lot of copy paste work in the behaviors tab here um, so let's say I make a new uh, armor plus one behavior I'll just call it armor one suggest and uh, of type buff and typically what you would do is you would set the flag to hidden so the item doesn't show on your behavior bar and then you go into modification and you would set the life armor bonus to be one and um, then you copy paste this and do this again and go in there and set it to two, three, four, five, as many multi as many multipliers as you sort of need. Um, but what's cool now is you can go view show um, XML view here, and now you can see this armor thing we've just created for our map. You can view the core dependencies, but our map just has this one little thing here, um, and you can see there's the armor bonus, and it only shows the values that you've changed um, that are different than its parent value. Um, because most of the, if you go hit control one to go back, um, most of these values are set to default, so it doesn't matter. But if I press control three now, um, back to XML view, um, what I can do here is just copy and then paste, and I might have to just space this out a bit. Um, and then I can just call this armor two and make the life armor bonus to be two, and then I can just copy paste that. And um, so it allows you to do really fast copy pasting, and you could even write a script in like some in like using a programming language to actually go in here, and um, and generate this automatically. Um, now, if I hit commit, if I save it or I hit this commit button, you'll see I got these new um, these new armor things here. Um, the only downside, if I switch to Control One here, is that they don't have a name. Um, it just uses their ID. Um, not a big deal since these are just item buffs. Um, they'll just they'll just be fine like that because the player's never going to see it. Now if you're making units or abilities that are actually visible to the player, you might have to go back in here and then find uh, the name field, wherever that is. I I think I've gone blind behavior name and um, actually give it like a proper name. So that shows up there. Or armor 1, I should have called it. Um, armor 2, I mean. So that's what you'd have to do. But anyways, um, it, allows, it allows for a lot faster sort of copy pasting and script like doing running scripts if you want to do that and um, I thought it was worth a tutorial to mention because um, you know when you're making items it's pretty insane um, when I was making my RPG like I had to go into item I had to copy paste then I had to go into behaviors I had to make the right behaviors make a button so you could actually if you were good enough um, with programming you could actually make like a sort of tool that would output XML like give you a standard like form like oh how much armor do you want on your item what's the item going to be called and then it could print out XML and you just copy paste it into here copy paste the button into here and copy paste the behaviors into here for that item unless they already existed um, but that's just a note I wanted to say and um, yeah it's a really cool thing because uh, it's a lot faster than going and double clicking on modification click on unit and then you got to scroll down and find life armor bonus so um, yeah it's a pretty cool thing and um, the only downside, like I said, is the name, but uh, I just made three behaviors extremely fast with copy-paste. So, yeah, it's a cool new feature, and um, that's all this tutorial is going to be about. Um, definitely cool stuff. Uh, thank Blizzard for that, and um, I'll see you around.